we are going to try and understand how cells can come together and form organs. We know now that the cells become specialised to carry out specific functions. When a group of cells come together, they form a tissue. A tissue is only formed when a group of cells with similar structures and functions come together. Muscular tissue has the function of contracting. When specific tissues come together, they can form an organ. An organ is made up of more than one tissue type. A good example to use is the stomach. The stomach is made up of three tissue types. Muscular tissue which churns the food, glandular tissue which produces digestive juices, and epithelial tissue which covers the inner and outer surfaces. Organs can then come together to form organ systems. The organs in an organ system work together to carry out specific functions. An organism is made up of different organ systems. The human body has four organ systems which are the nervous system, the respiratory system, the digestive system and the reproductive system. We are going to look at the digestive system in a bit more detail. The digestive system is the system in which organs work together to digest and absorb food. The digestive system exchanges materials with the environment. The food you eat is not very useful to your body. To make the food useful, it is broken down into small soluble molecules by the digestive system. The organs of the digestive system include the stomach, the liver, the small intestine and the large intestine. There are also glands, such as the pancreas and salivary glands, which produce digestive juices. These digestive juices contain enzymes to break down the food. The liver produces bile, which helps to digest lipids. The main part of digestion takes place in the stomach and the small intestines. The wall of the small intestines has folds in it, which are called villi. These villi increase the surface area of the small intestine to help with the absorption of soluble molecules into the blood. The digestive system also has muscular tissue, which helps to move the food along. Undigested food is passed into the large intestine, where water is absorbed from it. The remaining food is then faeces, and this is passed back into the environment through the rectum and anus.